Good afternoon, everyone. This is Meg at Chasing Retro, and I have a treat for you today. I finished this Halloween journal so much faster than I thought I would, and so I am doing a flip through right now, and as soon as the video uploads, I will be listing this journal in my Etsy shop. This journal is a small Halloween themed journal, but it's not too scary Halloween. It's got sort of a retro childhood Halloween flair to it. And I will show you the measurements. Four and a half by six and a quarter. The spine is two inches and there are three signatures. Each signature has 14 folded pages in it. So that's 28 leaflets. And so back and fronts would be whatever that is times three. I'm not gonna do that in my head. <laughs> It is tied with just a simple black ribbon. I decided not to mar the cover in any way by poking a hole or doing things like that. Um, and it turned out to be not too much of a gator mouth. It is a little full, but not terrible. So there's the back. It is a cracker box. I'm sorry, it's a macaroni and cheese box that's been covered with some craft paper. And then on the front, I did a little paper cluster with some cheese cloth, which kind of looks like the mum the mummy wrappings and sewed that down okay inside we have a beautiful foil pocket here and i did a little cluster with some glittery uh, leaf and then we have a little bug and a specimen card we have two tags here this is a 3d glitter sticker this is halloween and this is just a little spider sticker And then here we have a corner pocket. I did a cluster here with some jack-o'-lanterns. And then here's a card that says official chocolate tester. And then the definition of a jack-o'-lantern from a children's dictionary. This is from a vintage children's reader. And I just put a little journaling page here. Sino paper. jack-o'-lantern right here. This is from a vintage cookbook and it's how to make, uh, I guess, centerpiece jack-o'-lanterns for a party. This is some eco dyed paper made by Marnell at Mimi's Keepsakes. So pretty. Uh, this is just a journal page. This is from Ideals Magazine. I've made it into a little pocket. So there's two types of folded pockets in here. This one is sewn all the way across so this will not open out, um, but it's just a great place to put things. And there's actually a hidden place back here if you want to tuck, tuck a hidden journaling spot behind there. And this is just a little sheet with a, it's not a Mrs. Grossman's, but it's sort of, let me see if I can, it's a Francis Mayer sticker. And these are probably from the 80s. So I've had these in my sticker drawer for a while. This is some watercolor that my daughter did. I fussy cut those out. Mm -hmm. Fabric pocket, and I did a little bit of couching stitch on some green mossy looking yarn. We have a playing card and another definition. Oh no, I lost my place. <laughs> Black doily, some orange paper with some purple trim. This is just a billing statement. So here is another one of those pocket pages and this one does flip out. This is a poetry book. And then I have a game card tucked in here and a little tag. Here's some art tissue dyed paper. I stamped a little boo and cut it out. I stamped a little jack-o'-lantern and cut him out. This is some spiderweb embossed vellum in the center. Put a little fiber leaf here. This flips out. And then we have another definition and a little Franken tag. Perfect name for this journal, right? A little edge on this page and then a little arrow that says trick or treat. Here's another one of those stickers. This one says Boo. 
Here's a puffy sticker. Do y'all remember those from the 80s? I love them. And then we have a little game card. And then I stamped a little um, spider web onto a flash card. I sewed a fabric ruffle on this page. Look at those delicious caramel apples. Here's another stamped image with some more of those Francis Meyer stickers. Who else, when you see candy corn, can immediately taste them? <laughs> I used to love candy corn. Here's a cute little journaling card. And this says, so cute, it's scary. <laughs> This is from a Jack and Jill magazine. This is the page that I said in my last video looked like the Haunted Mansion in Disney World. And we've got this adorable little paper clip and then a little journaling card here. And this is just a sort of a rough, rough uh, tear out from an ideals book about the legend of Sleepy Hollow. A little beetle here. This is a die cut that I used my scan and cut for and it is a old-fashioned lamppost. Again I thought it looked like Disney World Haunted Mansion. Here is another Ichabod image and this one or I guess that would be brown bones <laughs> and um I made it into a tuck spot and I just put a little journaling page here. This is one of Tim Holtz paper dolls and I have perched a beautiful barn owl on his hand. Clipped here we have a little paper sack and a little cluster with a jack-o-lantern and then a little journaling card inside. Kool-Aid dyed paper. Here's some washi tape with spider webs. Little jack-o-lantern. I'm just here for the candy. Some more candy corn. The other part of that Jack and Jill page. This is just a little quote that says, lit only by the moon. Here's a fabric flip with just a beautiful piece of uh, cotton black lace and I sewed rig rack to the top. Because this page had ravens on it, I did a little cluster with a black feather. Little Edgar Allan Poe throwback. I did not put anything in this pocket. I will go back and add something. So this is a felt leaf. It's pretty high relief, so if you write on this page, you'll probably have to use a little backer for that, but I, it just went perfectly with these pumpkins. Here is another Jack and Jill page. This is from a vintage reader. There's those little girls again, and I wrote all dressed up. I didn't write that. I glued it onto it and sewed around the edge. Here's another watercolor that my daughter did. Adorable. Here's a tag and a little vintage fa fabric ribbon pocket. I thought this looked very um, Halloween-y and very 70s. And then here's another one of the paper dolls and I have him holding a jack-o'-lantern, the magic masterpiece. This is from a children's songbook. And in here we have a Franken tag. It says boo. And then little circus tickets. Here is an image from a little dictionary again. This says all dressed up. And then in here I have just tucked in a couple of thickers that came with the one of the little kits that I used. So you can place those wherever you'd like. 
little tab, I guess that's a tab, flag. <laughs> Here's a little corner pocket with a vintage tree identification card. Washi tape with leaves. Here's an orange ticket and a little um, Monroe County Fair entry tag for maybe the most beautiful pumpkin. Happy Halloween journaling card. And then, of course, you know I have to put a family, cir uh, family circus. I want to say family circle every time. Family circus. <laughs> Here's a glitter side pocket another journaling card, and some Kool-Aid paper. A black fabric ruffle. Here's some washi on this side. I thought it looked very gothic. And then another watercolor by my daughter, of course. These little houses with the jack-o'-lanterns in the front. And then last is this little envelope. So the envelope had stuck to itself and I tore it just a little trying to open it. So I put some washi there, but it's the perfect color. I had to use it. And then I have a little journaling page with a Francis Meyer bat. Look at his little face. So <laughs> cute. I would never call a bat cute, but that's cute. And then I did a little black dory on the top of the other side. Okay, that's it. That is the flip through. Easy and simple. If you would like to purchase this journal, head to my shop. It should be listed in, as soon as I can get it up. So I hope all of you are having a wonderful day and enjoying your week so far. Talk to you soon. Bye.